A little over a month ago, I was watching a Mark Rober video, you know. I'm Mark Rober. And he said something along the lines of, Welcome to my monthly class. We'll cover mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, 3D printing, prototyping, CAD, Arduino and Raspberry Pi, the scientific method, and so much more. So that sounded fun. So I decided to give it a go. Um, and I made some things. Is a hands-on 30-day learning experience. The idea of the course was to produce three different builds. The first build was mechanical engineering, and it's going to relate in some way to the category of food. I drink a certain type of fruit tea that takes about 15 minutes to brew just to my liking. I decided to make an automatic tea bag lifter. As it had to be purely mechanical, I used the works from a mechanical kitchen timer. The timer is set by loading a tea bag into the machine, twisting the cup 90 degrees, setting the tea bag in position, adding the water, waiting 15 minutes. 50 minutes later, the latch is released and the tea bag pops up. If you're lucky, the kitchen timer will also ring. So I was quite pleased with that first build. It kind of worked uh, really well and I've used it a few times. Build two was just having something to do with art. Didn't come up with terribly many good ideas for the art category. Um, my, my idea was to do some blinking lights. What have you found? All I found is that these red lights keep moving back and forth. Aside from that, this thing seems to have no other function whatsoever. In the theme, in a sort of Star Trek theme. Building on everything you learned in part one, we're going to use a simple Arduino to construct an electrical engineering build. Originally planning to make them blink using weather inputs like wind speed, direction, temperature, etc. I only had a week. I only got the blinky lights done. I didn't get any of the weather stuff done. So build three. This time in the category of habits. Either you build something that helps you enforce a good habit, or something that helps you break a bad one. I identified my bad habit as not locking up my shed um, as regularly or as um, well as I should. Um, so I decided to build myself a thumbprint scanner shed lock. I really wanted to do a, a facial recognition system with a Raspberry Pi using the camera uh, to do the unlocking of the shed, but that was not going to happen in a week uh, with my programming capabilities so I decided to go for a, a thumbprint scanner uh, which I got from Amazon for about six pounds um, wired it into a Raspberry Pi Pico uh, microcontroller and, uh, and and that's the end result obviously I need to make the box a little bit more secure um, and and probably the bolt mechanism needs to be a lot more rugged but it's something I'm going to re-engineer uh, in the near future because uh, I really like it um, and it and it actually worked surprisingly well. I'll just leave you the, with a clip of my favourite build from the course that somebody else did. Uh, it's a Weeping Angel, uh, Doctor Who style Weeping Angel, uh, which was activated by light. This was for the art build. Thanks for watching.